Welcome to another edition of the Geometry Screencast. Today we'll look at the properties of angles whose vertex is outside the circle. Our first example gives us a tangent line and a secant line that intersect to form angle X. We know two arcs, one is 172 degrees and another arc is 96 degrees. Since the vertex is outside of the circle, our rule is that the angle is equal to half the difference of the two intercepted arcs. It's the difference, uh, so it's subtraction. And the two arcs in this case would be the 172 degree arc and this missing arc right here. So in order to find that, I'm going to subtract the two arcs that I know from 360 degrees. That's because all the way around the circle is 360, so that gives the missing arc 92 degrees in measurement. Now I can go and set up an equation. The angle x is equal to half the difference of the two intercepted arcs. 172 minus 92. That's a subtotal of 80, and half of 80 is 40 degrees. Here's another example for you to give a try. So go ahead and pause this and give it a shot. All right, we have two secants that form an angle of 20 degrees and intercept two arcs, one of x degrees and another one of 115. The vertex is outside the circle, so the angle will be half the difference of the two intercepted arcs. I don't know angle x, but I do know the angle, excuse me, arc x, but I do know the angle. So I'm going to go ahead and set up an equation. The angle of 20 degrees equals 1 half 15, 115 minus x. Multiplying both sides by 2 to get rid of the fraction, I get 40 equals 115 minus x. Then subtracting 115 from both sides, I get negative 75 equals negative x, or x equals a positive 75 degrees. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.